working with Amsteel. Um, Amsteel, the fiber itself, it, when you get to the end and you want to make it look nice, it doesn't melt like paracord necessarily. It just it just doesn't do that. It doesn't fuse together. It it just will always be frayed. So definitely the one way you can fix that is just to do simple knot. You'll see, you'll use that with uh, soft shackles. Um, if you're a sailor, of course, you do like a figure eight. And for like whoopee slings, actually a knot works really well. And that's why a lot of people do this um, end berry is to have some way to grab onto it and some way to keep the end from going back through your whoopee sling. But what a lot of people like to do, it's called uh, like a back splice or a full berry like this. Um, it makes it a little bit wider than the normal one, so it might resist going back through on your whoopee sling, but it gives you like a little handle. It, may, it makes it look nice. So uh, let's show you how to make this little back splice. The key to the, to the end splice or the end berry, so we're gonna take this part here, we're gonna draw it up to the middle inside here, and so it cures the, the end. So it keeps it from unraveling, plus it makes it a little bit wider. The first thing is to decide how long you want your, your splice back. And I go anywhere from two to two and a half inches. Uh, you can go as far as three um, for the total length of it. It'll be basically like that. Um, but anywhere from two to two and a half inches seems to be a fine amount to accomplish what you want to do. So there's two and a half inches right there. Um, then you have a certain amount of the end that I'll show you here in a second that you want to uh, thin out. So we'll add about three quarters of an inch. And that's really about all you have to do. So, so what I do, other than marking it with a line, I bend it. Amsteel bends really easily and, and leaves a bend. So that's how I normally do it, but we'll just go with that that spot right there. So that's three inches, just to make it easy. Now what we want to do is thin out this end a little bit, and this is the 760 force, so it has eight strands. What we'll do is we'll cut off like four of the strands. Some people get, get real picky about which strands, the right one, the left one. I don't. Um, I'm not that particular about it. The key is just to make it thinner so you can so you can back it through. And with a knife or the razor blade, or I've got these really nice scissors. Um, just gotta get rid of that. So, so now that's thinner. Now what we do is we bend the string back and the berry is only gonna come up so far. So we're looking at two and a half inches. So I'll keep marking this just so it makes it a little bit more easy to understand. So two, two and a half inches, that's kind of where we want it to be. Now this whole area here will shrink up as, it, as we bring this up the, through the inside. So what I do is go right to the, the end point here. And if you want to bury all this stuff, you, have, you go about an inch beyond that. Um, I actually just trim that off. Um, but that's kind of how, where you want to start your insertion to, of your wire to bring this all up through the middle. With this spot from here to here, what we'll do is we'll squish that down a little bit. So it opens it up and we take our tool, whatever kind of crochet hook. I use uh, this um, floral wire. Um, some people use um, knitting hooks. But the, the point is we want to get that to go down through the middle of the Amsteel core. We want to come right down to this point. Sometimes Amsteel gets a little flattened. Just kind of 
take your time and if it comes through just back it out and go back down again twist it a little bit and it'll eventually get to where you want it to be okay so now now that's where I'm going to have it come out. It's right by that dot. We bring my wire or whatever you're using. We put the thinned out end on the wire and then we bring it back down. I'm going to pull from this end and I'm going to just kind of spin and twist and massage with my fingers and this is kind of the hard part is that you see this loop right here you don't want that to go necessarily up inside so you got to kind of watch it and so you're working this part up here more than pulling that through and eventually you'll see that it comes out and you watch this end you don't want that to come all the way through but you're going to want it close so there we go what I do, I mean, I made it long enough where I could just massage that through, but what I do is, is I just cut that off. It's just how I got to do all my stuff now, but you don't have to do that. I just find it a lot easier to just get rid of this. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to pull this. And that's pretty close already. We can pull that through just a little bit more right there where it's a nice little ball and then you start down here and you massage this back like a Chinese finger puzzle until this right here see it's disappearing inside now it's completely gone now you have back spliced into your am steel so it's a little bit thicker if you look at this side right here it's just a little bit thicker and that's how you do it all right have fun.